Hello, and welcome to another video where I'll be unboxing a snack crate. Today, the snack crate is from Korea. Um, I'm going to assume South Korea. It doesn't say. Um, I think this is a South Korean flag. Um, and I think if it was North Korea, it would probably be poison. But anyway. I'm going to tell you what's in the snack crate box from Korea, starting with what's in the mini box. Should have had this out before. I started. Okay, the first thing we have is Pushy Pushy. It says, don't boil it. This ramen is meant to be eaten as a cracker. Check the directions on the back. Okay, the back, directions on the back say... Smash noodles and it has like a fist coming down. Sprinkle spices any way you desire. Shake and enjoy. Okay, so it's like ramen, but I think it's been like fried up so it's like a cracker. So you just smash it down and you eat it like that. I'm assuming it just tastes like ramen. Um, I'm not going to open it because it just seems like it's going to be messy. But uh, it seems like a pr pretty good idea. This one is a chicken flavor, grilled chicken flavor. I assume it just tastes like dry ramen. Anyway, moving on to the next one, we have White cookie Perero, delicious sticks, biscuits, coated in cookies and cream. Looks a lot like a uh, Pocky from Japan. Let's open it up and see. Very chunky on the outside. It has like a yogurty smell. Has a yogurty taste. It's pretty good. The pepero. Pepero? Pepero? Not sure. Now let's see what I can find next. Choco pie. So this is a marshmallow pie adored by Korean people. They were regularly smuggled into North Korea where they're as good as cash. So if I'm, I should uh, bring this with me, I want to go to North Korea and sell it for, um, I don't know, labor. But uh, it seems like it is a, uh, like a moon, moon pie kind of thing. So I'm not gonna open that one. Especially because there's just like one thing, I don't want to ruin it. Okay, I believe these are it says French pie. You can see right here, French pie, and there's like a, there's a picture, of a little pie. It doesn't tell you what the wrapping looks like, but these say delicious and fresh baked pie. There's a strawberry and an apple. So I'm, I'm guessing it's just like a little, little pastry with like a little bit of a, either apple or strawberry jam on top. Seems pretty interesting. Um, doo -doo -doo. The next one is called Sakomi Dalcom. They are sour fruit chews similar to high chews from Japan. So let's see if I can find it. Understand what they are. Eventually, I'll find it. Let's move on. One thing I tell you about the the Korean ones is like uh, a lot of them are just like very. If you don't know Korean, you don't know what's in there. There's no pictures or anything. 
Um, I'm just gonna pick something out and show it to you. Korea Bob seaweed. Korea Bob. I don't know if they're like SpongeBob for Koreans. There's like games or like puzzle things in the back, so I assume it's like a a kid show. But um, let's see where this is at. This is in the premium pack, and it's seaweed flavored crackers that resemble sea creatures. Okay, so it opens up like that, and then you have your little puzzle there where I think these pieces on the back go to. Seaweed flavored crackers. So yeah, they're like star shape, crab shape. Mm. They're really good. They're like super crisp on the outside. And it's like hollow. Is that fishy? There's like a sweet seaweed flavor. It's really good. Okay. Sweet potato snack. And I believe this one. Sweet potato snack, you get this in the premium as well. The combination of sweet potato and maple syrup. They kind of look like little vertebrae. Definitely sweet. Sweet and crunchy. I don't taste maple, I just taste sweet. All the big things are from the premium. Let's go with those first. Shrimp crackers. Shrimp chips. So they are hot, salted, and fried. Made from flour and ground shrimp. Ooh, it smells super shrimpy. It's like a little Cheeto almost. Tastes like a... Uh, any kind of like Chinese food you get that's shrimp. Let's try this one. Honey Twist Snack. Again, this is from the premium box. It's a really strong shrimp flavor. I think it's still lingering all around my mouth and my taste bed. Okay. So this one is twisted strips that resemble french fries. And they're supposed to be honey flavored. These are a lot harder to chew, more crunchy. It's not bad. I wish it was a little softer. Definitely get that honey flavor to it. Yeah. Let's try this one. It is called Banana Kick, and this one is included in the premium as well. So all these bags of chips and snacks, oh, it's super banana-y, it's on the premium. And these are like puffed Cheeto, so it's like Cheeto puffs, a super banana smell. Like if you took the flavor from like a banana laugh taffy and put it on a Cheeto. That's exactly what this tastes like. Alright. We also have uh, a custard soft cupcake. This one is part of the original. So this is the second tier level. This is a gold sponge cake filled with Flavor packed custard cream. I'm gonna save this one. Cream and egg yolk. So it's like an eggy, yolky, custardy flavored. Almost like a Twinkie. Okay. These ones are called Cook He Biscuits. Not Cookie Biscuits, but Cook, K O O K, space H E E Biscuits. It's a peanut filling between two quick dissolving cookies. I'm going to try one of these just to uh, 
see how quickly it dissolves. Interesting. It smells very peanut buttery. Very peanut buttery. Just average sandwich cookie. Mm-hmm. Very peanut buttery. I would necessarily say it's it's like super dissolving. It's just like a really thin, crisp, light cookie. Uh, let's go with this one. Let me see if I can find it here. Okay, this one is called... I think I only have one of them. Choco Heim. It's a crunchy wafer stick with hazelnut chocolate or vanilla cream inside. I believe I got the hazelnut one. Yeah. So that gave me two of these and they're both hazelnut. Um, I'm not sure if I was supposed to get one chocolate and one vanilla or if it's just random. Okay, so this kind of reminds me of like a reverse Kit Kat. So there's two other pieces in here, but this broke off. So it's like, you break off your little sticks. Let's see how I can do that. Well, it's not really breaking that easily. All right, I'm just take a bite. It's just like a wafer filled with chocolate instead of like wafers covered in chocolate. And it's definitely hazelnutty like a Nutella. Really good. I like that one. Okay, let's see if I can find whatever this is. Okay, I think these are wholesome wheat crackers with a hint of sweetness. So I think these are the Gasami. Go Gosami? Gasami? Oh yeah, definitely wheat crackers, like a, a wheat thin. Sweeter than a wheat thin. I think it has like little sugar crystals on the outside. And that's in the original box. Okay, let's try to find this one. Oh yes. Okay, well this is not in here. Oh yes, and it looks like a little chocolate cake. You can see. Maybe this is what they were replaced the sour chews with because I don't have sour chews but I do have this oh yes hmm. My time. product of Korea oh, it looks like a little Debbie kind of treat I'll save that for later I won't open that one up today uh, let's see what else can we find we got these. Koch Dasi. Almost looks like a French word. It says Vienna. That's like almost Italian coffee. With shortbread cookies with a coffee and cream flavored center. And there is coffee and white tort. Not sure what that is, but I'll try the coffee one. Give it a try. Interesting look. It's like a little vanilla cookie with a little chocolate or coffee swirl. There's something in the middle of it. Pretty good. It's like a shortbread cookie. A little coffee in the middle. And we have this like dense looking cookie. And this is called a yak gua. It is a Korean cookie resembling a flower served on New Year's Day or Thanksgiving. I'll give it a taste. Doesn't say what's supposed to taste like. 
something really dense and it's like soaked in something can't tell like what the flavor is it tastes almost like oily okay then we got another pepero this is almond pepero um, and this comes in the premium as well you can see it looks a lot like the the uh, Japanese ones but these ones tend to look like they're more jagged on the outside but I already opened that one so you know what it looked like this one just tastes more like almonds then we have Concho chocolate biscuits and those last two things were in the premium uh, this Concho biscuits comes in the original it's named for a prank played for Korean children. Crunchy biscuits filled with chocolate. They look a lot like um, claw yummies or uh, pandas. It was like a little crispy cookie. It's all on the inside. That's mm -hmm. Tastes just like them. I like it. Okay, and the last thing we have here is Choco Boy. It's a twin pack. Have fun with your friend Choco Boy. Biscuits, chocolate. This is another one of those packs open like this. I don't know if this is another cartoon. It also tells you to like open it down the middle like that. Okay, so these are like, they're supposed to look like little mushrooms. It's like a shortbread cookie with a chocolate. So, that's what it tastes like. Cookies and chocolate. Cookies and chocolate. Cookies and chocolate. Which kind of disappoint me that I, as a replacement for the, the sour chews, I got cake and chocolate. Cause like it seems like everything here is like a shortbread cookie wafer with chocolate on the outside. 